recap, uh, this is now Monday, uh, I started this on Saturday and did part 2 on Sunday, uh, it's now Monday so I'm actually carving today out to get this finished off, I hope, God I hope. Um, so to recap, because uh, <laughs> I need to remember where we are, we've got the uh, detailing done on here, uh, this is locked in place because I wanted to do the little holes for the brass pins, uh, but the emitters are done. This is now welded in place, so that's great. Uh, I've also got the holes done for the nuts on the inner part of the switch section. I've got the outer part of the switch section done, which aligns over that. I've got the switch cut out. Uh, the box section and that will go on, on top of here with some leather around there as well so that's great really happy with that um, the ribs the ribs have now been here for Saturday Sunday Monday so this is a third day so the the completely set um, which is fantastic so I can take these out uh, and these are the the ribs obviously these have to be sanded down because I can't do them with the the base on there. Oh, I just dropped one. One second. So the ribs are ready. Lay them flat so they don't warp or get damaged anywhere. Uh, so yeah, today we are going to be assembling the saber. Um, should be fairly straightforward. Can't see. Ooh, many complications arising from said challenge.
may have seen on Instagram uh, a little while ago when this is uploaded. It'll be a little while ago now. Um, my uh, my wife, she is a teacher. I'm not going to name the school or anything like that, um, but. Uh, she is a teacher in a school where uh, there's children with um, learning needs um, and uh, some of them have quite a few problems. Uh, the, I've been to the school uh, and I've, I've met some of the children. Absolutely some of the nicest kids you, you could ever want to meet. They're just a pleasure to be, uh, to be around, uh, to say hi to. Uh, I was actually there uh, putting up um, a very large uh, outdoor shed type cabin for them uh, a couple of years ago and I got to see a couple of kids because they were curious to what was going on so they all came over on the lunch uh, to say hi uh, and it was lovely to meet them, really really smart kids um, and uh, there's a, a few children uh, out of a, it's not a huge huge school with like thousands or like hundreds and hundreds of kids it's a very small school uh, because the, the children have, uh, have, have needs uh, unlike normal uh, school kids um, and um, yeah so every year I try and, and try and do something to help the school so one year I donated 500 pounds um, as uh, they were doing a charity event which was swimming across the channel or swimming uh, part of the channel uh, a few years ago uh, another time I tried uh, I went around to help build the, um, the the very large cabin outdoor shed thing which was like four or five, you know, it's like 12 foot by 18 foot, it's a fairly big uh, big thing. Uh, so I went around to do that. Um, me and my wife will go and I'll help, because uh, I have a number of animals at the school, so I have a lot of chickens, uh, some guinea pigs, some rabbits. Uh, so I'll, we'll go over, uh, we're on a rotor, we'll go over and we'll feed, uh, feed them, look after and clean the rabbits and the other animals. Um, and uh, this year they, um, they have uh, 10 children that um, their families uh, have very, very little. Um, it's, it's quite upsetting in today's age where, you know, families and, and, and the children, you know, some don't have internet, some don't have a computer, you know, a TV for them might be the, the, like a 12 inch tiny second hand thing that I managed to get hold of. Uh, you know, furniture might be you know, decades old and falling apart. Uh, and that's not the fault of, of uh, the parents, you know, in, in life some people, you know, as, as sad as it may be, some people don't, uh, aren't as lucky and don't have access to seeing things others may have. Um, you know, and I, I, I find it quite upsetting that people have to endure these things uh, when there's select people in the world that have so much, uh, you know, some have way more than others. Um, I've always wanted to help. Um, I have always wanted to try and find a charity, but never found one I liked. Um, and this isn't a charity. Um, I'll finish this up quickly and I'll get into the build. I just want to get this out there. Uh, what we did this year is um, we, me and my wife, I took out 500 pounds from um, from Four Sabers. It, it, this isn't a charity. I won't get the money back. I can't write it off as a tax deductible. So I haven't done it for those reasons. This is 500 pounds out of the profits of Four Sabers. There's not a lot of profit on Four Sabres because this year uh, I've been charging almost the very bare minimum that I can per sale. So I haven't made a huge amount uh, in profit at all. Uh, so there's not a lot of money in Four Sabres, but I still took £500 out. Uh, I'm not saying that to try and get sympathy, you know, I'm just being honest. Um, I took £500 out of the, the money from Four Sabres from the account. We went to Morrison's, we spoke to a lovely manager there, told him what he wanted to do, and then we went around Morrison's and we just cleared, literally cleared the shelves of specific foods. Uh, so like tins of beans, tins of tomatoes, spaghetti pasta, uh, penny pasta, um, soap. We, we cleared all the shelves of all these specific ones. Um, and we, we've put together 10 hampers of food. Um, so there's two bushes, there's food, uh, you know, the noodle packages, so each one, each child gets like three bag, three things of spaghetti, two bags of penne, uh, they get uh, three cans of uh, tomato, uh, 
chopped tomatoes, lots and lots and lots of things. I'm going to chuck up some photos now so you can see what it was. There's a, few, a photo of us as we're going around. Uh, there's a photo of us at the end putting in the car. Uh, the first load in the car is all um, all the tin food. Uh, and then after that, we're just stacking on all the, the pastas and everything else that we got. Uh, so and that was that was a few hundred pounds. Um, and then I'm doing another order um, sometime in the next few days, uh, where um, we'll be getting uh, around 200 or so pounds worth of uh, more tin food. Uh, basically, it, the food that we're going to get is, is stuff that won't go off, that can last for a long time, uh, like tin food and pastas. Uh, so uh, I'm putting a big order in with Asda for that, uh, so we can then bump up all this, uh, this food even more. So there's a good, you know, it's not just for one child, it's for the family. Um, so uh, yeah, that's what we're, what I'm doing this year. Um, if if you want, uh, I, I'm not against charities and there, there are charities out there that do amazing things. Uh, there's charities out there that do a lot of things for children. For me, because this is for Sabres, it's lightsabers. For me, in my mind, this is a very child uh, orientated world where you know, a, a, a young child that hasn't got much to get a lightsaber would be amazing because virtually every child knows, um, knows what uh, Star Wars is. Um, so if there's a charity out there where they do great work for children, you know, I know there's a charity out there that gives children uh, toys. Uh, I did contact them to say can I donate some lightsabers, but unfortunately they can't do it in that way. It's monetary contributions that they take. Um, but if there's a charity out there that you think I should take part in or contribute towards, uh, I'm more than happy to say take 5% of every sale and then donate it to uh, a charity. Um, no, I have no issue with doing that whatsoever. Uh, I will continue to support the school my wife works at uh, and the, the amazing you know, students there. Um, and the teachers are also absolutely amazing uh, that work there. Uh, I've met a few of them. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. I just wanted to show, share that with you all. Uh, you know, it's nearly Christmas, so I wanted to get that out.